Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. In today's lecture, we'll solve a Huffman encoding question from Networks topic. And in this question, you are given the characters that are used in the message and the probabilities of these respective characters. And you have to find how these characters should be encoded using Huffman coding if a message of 100 characters is to be transmitted. So uh, telling the basics of Huffman coding, Huffman coding is basically used in those situations where you have to transmit long messages and the characters that are used in such messages have are or they have they are represented in a long format so if we don't compress these uh, characters in some way or we do not represent these characters in an alternate notation then the transmission that has to be done or the amount of data that has to be transmitted would be very large so what we do is depending upon the frequencies of characters that are used in the messages we allot certain bit streams to each character that means a character that is being used very frequently would be allotted a bit string whose length is smaller as compared to a character that is not used very frequently because we can accommodate this a character being used very frequently has to be shorter as compared to a character being used less frequently all right so in Huffman coding, we basically follow two, three basic steps. Initially, when we are provided with the probabilities of different characters, we arrange these probabilities in increasing order and start combining them to form a binary tree. And then we assign codes to each the node that is formed in the final binary tree. And then we multiply the a length of the code that has been assigned to different characters with their respective probabilities to get an average length of a code per character all right so all this would become very very clear when i solve this question so initially the characters that are to be encoded are p q r s t their probabilities are given and a message of 100 characters is to be sent so out of these probabilities, the least probability is 0 .2, 0 0.08 and 0 0.17. So we make two nodes having probabilities 0 0.08 and 0 0.17 and combine them together to a node which has the sum of the two. The sum of the two would be 0 0.25. 0 0.08 is representing the character T and 0 0.17 is representing R. Now we'll consider the probabilities 0 0.22, 0 0.34, 0 0.19 and 0 0.25 and out of these we'll find the two minimum probabilities and then we'll combine the two. So we won't compare the uh, probabilities that we have already combined so out of these 0 0.19 and 0 0.22 are the minimum so in the next step we combine 0 0.19 that means s and 0 0.22 which is p to form another combination which gives us the sum of 0 0.41 now our comparison would be point between 0 0.25 0 0.41 0.34 all right so out of these we would combine 0 0.25 and 0 0.34 so the tree would look like 0 0.25 the two nodes 0 0.08 0 0.17 this is r this is t and now we'll combine it with 0 0.34 0 0.34 was for the character q and the sum of it would come out to be 0.59 all right now at the end we are left with this 0.41 and 0.59 so our final tree would be like the final probability would always be one combining the nodes at 0 0.59 0 0.41 the descendants would be 0 0.19 which is s 0.22 which is p in this case the nodes is 0 0.34 which is q here 0.25 then 
and the descendants 0 0.08, 0 0.17 and these are R and T. So P, Q, R, S and T all are covered. Now the next step is to assign the codes. How you assign the codes? All the left children are assigned a code of 0 and all the right children are assigned a code of 1. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0 1 so what will be the value or the code that is assigned to t a letter or a character that is coming at the lower end would be less frequent and it would have a higher or a larger character length or a bit stream length which is more than the character that is appearing in higher up in the tree because the character appearing higher up would have a high probability of frequency of appearing all right so p would be assigned the code of one one see p is here okay so this is not zero this is one 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 which is two bits q would be zero one so you have to read it like zero and one again two bits R would be 0, 0, 001, which is 3 bits. S would be 10, which is 2 bits. And T would be 000, which is 3 bits again. Now to find out the average length assigned per character, we have to multiply these lengths of the bit stream assigned to each character with their respective probabilities. So P is assigned to it will be multiplied by 0 0.22 plus q is assigned to multiplied by 0 0.34 plus 3 into 0 0.17 plus 2 into 0 0.19 plus 3 into 0 0.08 this when you calculate would come out to be 2.25 bits that is on an average each character has been assigned 2.25 bits and for a message of 100 characters as it is given in the question how many bits would you require 100 sorry 100 into 2.25 which is 225 bits so this was a type of question that does not provide you with the options. You directly have to calculate and find out the answer. This generally comes in two mark question in gate exams or a two mark question in UGC net exams. So uh, this was the concept of Huffman coding. I hope you understood this question and don't make mistakes while forming this tree. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel of Easy Engineering Classes for more lectures on gate preparation series and other computer science related subjects. Please like the video if you understood this question, share it with your friends and mention in the comments below how did you find the video and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of our more upcoming videos. Thank you.